Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the bomb enemy problem. Given a 2D grid, each cell is either a word W, an enemy E, or empty zero, a number zero. Return the maximum enemies you can kill using one bomb. The bomb kills all the enemies in the same row and column from the planted point unit until it hits the wall, since the wall is too strong to be destroyed. You can only put the bomb at an empty cell. So let's see. Uh, let's see this example. If we place the bomb at uh, one one, we can kill three enemies because we can kill the enemy up, down, left. But since there is a wall on its right, so we cannot uh, kill this enemy. So how to solve this problem? Usually. In this 2D grid, we will use BFS or DFS. But if you see, when we try to put uh, a bomb here, we should uh, calculate the enemies on its right and uh, down here. And when we try to put a uh, um, bomb here, we will try to calculate the enemies on its right and uh, on its on its left, on its right. So you see, we calculate uh, this zero many times. Um, and also we calculate uh, the left and right many times. The same idea, we calculate the up and down many times. So maybe we can cache some result So in order not to calculate repeatedly. So that means if we are here, we can uh, cache the result that uh, we can kill the enemy that is one on its left. So when we try to put a, a bomb here, we know that on its left we can kill one. So we do not need to calculate again. Uh, so in the same idea, in each column, we also cache the uh, number of the enemies we can kill. Um, as you can see, we cache the enemies we can kill till the current column in each row. And uh, in each column, we, we cache the number of the enemies we can kill till current row. As we iterate this grade, we from the row 0 to row 1 to row 2. So we can only use a variable to cache the number of the enemies we can kill in the same row but but in the columns when we go to the next row we may use different columns so to cache the columns we use we need to use a array okay let's see this algorithm we will use a variable that named we name it rows to cache accumulate e in the same row and we also need to save the previous accumulated e in the same column, which we name we use a array because in the same row we may use different columns value. So we use array. We iterate this grid. For every new row, we use a new rows. And if current cell is zero, that means we can put a bomb. So we will need to calculate the total enemies we can kill. At first, it should contain the rows and the columns J. That means the total enemies we can kill uh, from its right and uh, from its up. Then we calculate on its right and its down the total enemies we can kill. So that is a, a two for loop. Uh, this for loop is for we calculate the enemies we can kill on its right, the rest of this row. You see the condition is that uh, the current grid is not equal to W. And uh, if we meet E, we let the uh, total enemies uh, increment by one. This is calculate the rest of the column, um, uh, basically the same. And every time we update the max enemies, if the current grid is E, we just let the rows increment by one and the columns j increment by one. That means we may use this result afterwards. And that means the total enemies from left to right increment by one. 
and the total enemies from up to down increment by one. Um, then if the current grid is W, that means we should reset the rows enemies and the columns J enemies to zero, because when we use the uh when we try to place a bomb afterwards, we cannot kill any enemies if we set that bomb to left or um, to the up. Okay, so let's write the code. First, edge case check if the grid equal to none or the grid dot length equal to zero. We just return zero. Otherwise, we we'll get the n equal to the grid dot length. Uh, m equal to grid dot length. n is grid zero dot length. We need a max to uh, return the maximum enemies we can kill. And we also need the columns. The size should just be the column size. Then we iterate this grid. I plus plus. So we every time we use a rows variable, at first it's zero. Then we iterate the columns and J plus plus. Let's check the current grid cell. If the current cell is zero, that means we can put a bomb. So the total enemies we can kill is the rows plus the columns J. Then we try to get the rest of the row. That means the same row and the different column. So the column should start from J plus one, K less than N, K plus plus. Um, but you should notice that uh, the another condition that is the current grid I, K not equal to W. If the current grid uh, row I and the colon K equal to E, less the rows plus plus. The same idea for the rest of the column K equal to I plus one. Uh, K less than M and the grid K J not equal to W. K plus plus. If grid uh, that will be k and j equal to e. We let the columns j plus plus. Okay, then we update the max enemy in total. Max. Oh, sorry. That should not change the co uh, columns. We should change the total. So here we also needed to change the total, not the rows. Okay, so else if the current cell ij is a w, we should reset so the rows equal to zero and the columns j equal to zero. Otherwise, it's an e. We just let the uh, enemies we can kill in a row increment by one and the columns j also increment by one. In the end, we'll just return this max. Um, to here. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.